Well, basically, I, um, I'm a mechanical engineer by training, I guess. And um, I've always had a bunch of different product ideas and decided that I was going to make a little prototype and all those parts are right here. So I made this on a little manual lathe, a couple hundred dollar lathe, and then I put a, a Kickstarter out there and I recorded a little video right here at this bench. And, and then I raised $15,000 and I was looking at getting them produced by some local shops and the prices that I could get just weren't quite low enough, you know. I was trying to get into some retail markets after Kickstarter, and since the, the pricing wasn't where it needed to be to get into those retail places, I was looking at the alternatives, and one was to go overseas. So then I, I started looking um, at making it myself, and I did some research, and I found um, the Automate CNC line of lathes, and I was really impressed with the capability and the price point, and so I bought it, and um, I'm in the, the middle of my production run. I'm making um, a couple hundred of each of these parts. There's six parts in the in my product. It's a uh, three-in-one pen, and uh, it's a. And you were you were a trained machinist, though. Nope. No, I um, actually never never went to any type of machining classes. Um, talked to a lot of old machinists and tool makers and got some tips and tricks with manual equipment. Um, and then, yeah, this machine is uh, really pretty simple to program. It's got a lot of, um, I guess, like, like the can cycles and stuff and then the contour editor. Pretty simple um, once you understand what you're doing. Uh, the gang style uh, lathe, so basically you have the, the tooling block here, just a bunch of ER collets. Um, this multi-bar is a nice, nice uh, tool to have because you can turn on both sides, so it kind of adds an extra tool to this one uh, slot here. Um, and then over here, um, I came up with this. It's basically a little bar puller with adjusting screws, so I can go from anywhere from a half inch down to, you know, basically zero. And I just adjust these screws in so that it pinches onto the onto the material. And the nice thing is, it doesn't take up a tool slot. It's right by the part off tool, so it's you know a fraction of a second to move from part to, pull, to bar pull. Um, but yeah, that's basically this is the, the setup. It's pretty fast with the, the gang style because you don't have the turret and the, the time it takes to index in a new tool. Um, definitely a little tight on the tools, but it's it's um, tailor fit for what I'm running. So we're making the pen tips. Um, Again, this is you know, about 50% of the production speed and no coolant, so you guys can see the part taking shape. Here we go. You guys can see things are really tight. It's a gang style lathe, so there's no, no turret, so lots of planning has to go with the uh, tool layout. Finished part there. Yeah, that's nice. Done deal.